Hey, what's happening guys? What I've got for you today is a super simple circuit. This is a really old circuit. As you can see, it uses three NPN transistors. And in this case, we are using 2N2222s. We have an antenna, an LED, a battery, and some resistors. Not a whole lot going on here. Not very difficult. But it's a neat circuit and it can be a lot of fun. So what kind of circuit is it? Well, it's basically a detector circuit or a super amplifier circuit. And let me tell you why I call it a super amplifier circuit. Okay, here is a uh, 2N2222 here in the component tester and if we turn it on you can see our gain is 287 so let's round that up to 300 that means the gain of our circuit is 300 times 300 times 300 that is 27 million times. That is an incredible amount of gain. So what happens is the antenna is going to pick up a charge. It could be mains hum. It could be static electricity. It could be capacitance from your hand. Anything. It is going to take that signal that it picks up into the base of the first transistor which will turn it on that will be amplified by the second transistor amplified by the third transistor and it will cause an analog output of this LED here so as the LED is not just going to be on or off it's going to be a, a linear value it's going to ramp up and it's going to ramp down depending on what it's detecting so here's the circuit I've done it up it is again super simple let's roll on in here and have a look at it all right so here's our antenna it's just like a three inch piece of wire here's our first transistor and <laughs> the antenna goes to the base there is a one mega ohm resistor going into the collector the emitter feeds the base of the second transistor, a 100K resistor going into the collector, and that emitter feeds the base of the third transistor, where we have our LED and a 220 ohm resistor from the collector. And the emitter of that third transistor goes to ground. Now, somewhere in my house, I've got an entire bag of 9 volt battery clips but for the life of me I can't find them so I was forced to attach this to a, a power supply which I'm feeding 6 volts about 200 milliamps nothing special and if I bring my hand in here you can see it detects the presence of my hand I mean, if I bring a, a screwdriver in, this is a rubber handle. I am 100% insulated from it. But it detects the presence because of a static charge on the surface. Um, here's my wooden stick I often use. See, no effect from the wooden stick. But here is that little transformer I wound the other day. Did I get anything off of it? Nope. Take this around your house, but please do not touch this piece of metal to any mains or line electricity. Please don't do that. But take it around your house and bring it near different things and just see what holds a charge because you would be surprised at where you'll find a static electricity charge. 
Now, one final thing before we go. This simple little circuit is also known as the ghost detector. And you'll find a lot of the paranormal hobbyists who use a variation of this circuit to hunt for ghosts. So, if you find a ghost in your house, let me know down below. <laughs> All right, that's it for this simple little video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.